I'm here once again to represent the Metropolitan Local Aboriginal Lands Council and to welcome you all here tonight to Aboriginal land. The Premier of New South Wales, the Honourable Mike Baird. I just want to say uh, to all of you, thank you. Uh, for every single person that's been nominated, uh, it is an honour uh, to be recognised by your peers. Thank you for uh, your work. Uh, you should be very proud of what you do and it's just such a delight uh, to be able to recognise some high achievers doing amazing things. So well done and congratulations. Our first award tonight, Premier, is the Public Sector Award for the category of Building the Economy. Premier, the winner for Building the Economy is the long-term lease of the Port of Newcastle, New South Wales Treasury, Treasury and Finance. The fact that we received such a, a great result was a uh, vindication um, of uh, everyone's efforts. And the winner for revitalising regional New South Wales is the Regional Libraries Program. I think it's a fabulous opportunity for the State Library to um, showcase the work that we have achieved. When it comes to delivering quality customer services, the winner is Service New South Wales. Oh, we are absolutely overwhelmed with the positive feedback from the customers. We've had a 98% highly satisfied score. And what excites all the team every day is to get that great feedback. It's now the Premier's Award, Public Sector Awards for Building Infrastructure. And the winner is the Opal Electronic Ticketing System. Everything we've done, everything we do is looking through the lens of the customer and um, that's been a really guiding principle and that's why I think we're getting such good customer feedback. It's now time for the award for strengthening environment and communities. And Premier, just when you thought this could not get more exciting, I can announce in this category, not one, but two winners. Our joint winners are the Home Power Savings Program and Western New South Wales Aboriginal Learner Driver Program licensed and on the road. Give them a round of applause. It's one of those projects that really enabled small changes that people could make, achievable changes that really made a difference to their lives. Most importantly, we've formed some really strong partnerships with the private sector, with both Barang and ACE, to deliver this important program. Socially and, and in other areas of their lives, they've been able to really excel and, and move on and open doors to, to other areas of their life. Now, last category premier for the Public Sector Awards is improving performance and accountability. Quality and Acute Stroke Care Implementation Project. Well done. It was really about making sure we engage successfully with our partners. Um, obviously the, the team here from St Vincent's and Australian Catholic University and then our clinicians out in the field. The judges have decided the partnership of the year is the Barangaroo Skills Exchange. Through the introduction of TAFE onto the project and the skilling program, construction workers now, they're learning English, they're learning, learning to read, to, to write, uh, they're learning skills and they have career prospects. And that's life changing for, for a lot of those workers. Yeah. And we move now to the final award of the evening. It's often the highlight of the entire night. It's where we recognise individual excellence and achievement. Our first finalist, come on forward please, Carolyn Murray. Our second finalist, a round of applause please for James McCormack. Our third finalist is Jody Grimmer. A round of applause please for Michelle Stromquist. And our final nominee is Zachary Gee. Premier, if you'd like to come and announce the winner. There can only be one winner, and that winner is uh, Zachary G. Well done, Zachary. No, it's an absolute fantastic breakthrough. It's a world first, which uh, the state should be sincerely proud of. And in saying that, uh, what we all we're doing is we use our data that is already there much smarter. So when offenders come in, we can uh, just quickly know uh, if they're high risk or no risk. And for high risk, we can target the high risk offenders and for more detailed assessment and treatment. Why can we not be uh, the best public sector in the world? Uh, and that's a challenge. Uh, some might see that that's pretty lofty, uh, but it's achievable. Yeah.